Hey guys, uh, this is Surya. Hope you are doing well. Uh, hope you are staying safe and staying indoors. This video is a continuation of our student success series part two. In this particular video, we will be looking into our masters in computer aided engineering. Let's take a look at it. So this is student success stories part two, uh, a series to explain the journey of skilling students and how they achieve success. So the course that I wanted to speak to you today was about CAE masters program. So in this particular program, you take six courses, right? You look into introduction to FEA using LS Dana, crash worthiness analysis using hypermesh and radios, hypermesh for FEA, plastics, and sheet metal applications, structural meshing using ANSA, advanced structural analysis using ANSYS workbench, and Python for mechanical engineers. So how is this course structured? So initially, you will start with structural meshing using ANSA and Hypermesh for FEA, plastic and sheet metal applications. These two courses provide you a very good fundamental knowledge on pre-processing. So if you take FEA analysis or any CAE analysis, that is a pre-processor, that is a solver and a post-processor. So in pre-processor, one of two tools that are very relevant in the industry are ANSA and Hypermesh. And usually, a lot of components nowadays, automotive and any manufacturing components are plastic and sheet metal components. So understanding how to mesh a plastic component and a sheet metal component is really important. And that is what you will be looking into in the first two courses, hypermesh for FEA plastics and uh, structural meshing for ANSA. Once you understand the fundamentals of meshing and the advanced concepts of meshing, then you will move one step forward and take up LS Dyna for structural mechanics or FEA. So LS Dyna again is from ANSYS and it's a very very popular tool for explicit dynamics and you will be looking into explicit dynamics in this particular coursework. You will start from the fundamentals and move on to the explicit dynamics. What is explicit dynamics? Explicit dynamics is an impact happening over a high velocity. Any fast moving component hitting a particular and analyzing that stress due to the fast moving impact is called explicit dynamics. So crash worthiness of cars is a great example for explicit dynamics. That is the fourth course you will be looking. Crash worthiness analysis using hypermesh and radios. So this particular coursework teaches you how to do frontal crash analysis, side impact, rollover and roof crash. Right? These are the different simulations that industries look for when they hire crash worthiness engineers. And that is something that you will be learning. Then you will also look into advanced structural analysis using ANSYS Workbench and Python for mechanical engineers. Why is Python important? So when you take ANSA or Hypermesh, coding it with Python for ANSA, doing automation using Python is important for Hypermesh. Same, TCLTK. TCLTK for Hypermesh is also important. So that is something that you can change in this particular coursework as well. We have a Hypermesh, TCLTK for Hypermesh, and you can substitute either structural analysis using ANSYS Workbench or Python for mechanical engineers using that particular tool. So these are the courses that you will be taking as a part of this. So what happened to students who took up a coursework? So I have taken only five profiles to show you what happened, right? So the first one is Sachin Morley. So Sachin Morley is currently working as a vehicle architect at Ford Motor Company. So he was a mechanical engineer who passed out in 2019. His GPA is 7.17. He's a fresher. He, after finishing our coursework, he took our CAE master's course. So what happened? So Sachin developed a set of projects. So if I click on this, I can see the projects that Sachin worked on. If you are interested in understanding what Sachin has worked on, you can just go to projects.skilling.com and look into Sachin Murli. And these are the different uh, projects that Sachin has worked upon in as a part of this CAE master's course, right? So this is one. So, and what this did was help Sachin get a job at Ford Motors as a vehicle architect, right? So Sachin was one of our uh, CAE master student and this is how Sachin got it up. Next, Vimal Raj. Vimal Raj is working as a GET, graduate engineering trainee at ESI. ESI again is an automotive consulting and automotive services company, uh, very similar to HCL and uh, Satyam Ventures. So Vimal Raj graduated again in 2019, got a GPA of 7.6, was fresher and wanted to get into a CAE or a core mechanical engineering career. He took up our courses, he developed his own portfolio of projects by the end of the coursework and uh, this is his project so if i want i can just click on a particular project 
and see what are the projects that Vimal basically worked upon. So this is a frontal crash analysis uh, that Vimal did as a part of a crash worthiness analysis. So if you see this particular project, you can see the detailed analysis and the report that Vimal has written, right? What does this do? If you are a student and if you have projects like this, your ability to get a job just multiplies 10 times. So think about it. As a mechanical engineer undergrad, you basically do one final year project and that is not even this deep in analysis. So when you want to get a job at the end of the day, in the interview, they are going to ask you about your project. And when you have multiple projects, like what Vimal is having, your ability to explain these projects at a higher level is what gets you a job. This is Vimal's uh, portfolio that I wanted to show you Vimal. Then I wanted to show you Shankar Raj. Shankar Raj again is a fresher, 2019 pass out, 7.65 GPA, Kapa CAE master's course is currently working at as a CAE aerospace engineer at Access Cadres. Again, Shankar has this profile. You can click on this and uh, take a look at all the profiles that I'm looking at is available at projects.skilling.com. You can go take a look at all the profiles and understand the amount of effort that they have put in in the coursework and that has helped them get a job right there is no magic each course consists of four projects if you are taking five to six course you end up working on 20 to 24 projects and developing a detailed portfolio like this and this is what helps people get jobs so this is shankar raj uh, again lau kumar uh, again a fresher he graduated 2019 7.8 gpa took up our CA master's course, CA engineer at Satyam Ventures. You can take a look at Lau Kumar's profile at projects.skilling.com. Purujit has graduated in 2019 with a GPA of 7.8 pressure, got a job at Access Cadres as a CA engineer. So what is common amongst all of them, right? So they enrolled in a master's course. As I said, they worked on 14 to 15 projects minimum, right? This helped them develop a very, very strong portfolio. And the more important aspect of it is while you develop the portfolio, it is more important to test how good you are. For example, uh, if Ford Motors is uh, expecting X range of profile, how do you test if you are to the capacity of what Ford Motors looks for, right? So you basically need to go through a tool test. And that tool test is what we basically have. We have multiple tool tests that simulates real world interview questions right so that tool test shows you where you are lagging and we will provide you feedback on how you can improve that feedback allows you to improve and get better and once you get to the recruitment stage where you start attending interviews your ability to crack that interview and get a job will be way higher than any of your peers so this is something that i wanted to speak to you in the second series in the next series i'm going to speak about the hybrid electric vehicle so stay tuned thank you guys